Well, thanks for joining us today at our Vacaville Emergency Response Center. This is where we coordinate all of our emergency response operations and our restoration efforts for this storm event and for all storm events. My name is Paul Doherty from PG&E's Marketing and Communications Department. At PG&E, we begin every meeting with a safety message, so I'd like to do that now. And I'll offer a reminder that Caltrans um, has warned that we should not be driving on the roads, avoid road travel if possible through this evening. Um, but if you are out on there on the road, just a reminder to try and avoid distracted driving, keep your phones down, and also to keep a safe distance between your vehicle and any other vehicles. Today we are going to cover the efforts by PG&E and our response efforts to this storm system. And uh, speaking today will be Janice Quinones, PG&E's Senior Vice President of Electric Operations. I'm also joined by Ron Richardson, Vice President of our North Coast Region, and by Evan Duffy, our Manager of Meteorology Operations. And we're also joined by Dave Meyer, pg and Senior Manager of Local Customer Experience. We will have time for questions at the end of Janice's remarks. And we will also be offering um, another version of this in, in language in Spanish following, following uh, her remarks. Uh, so with that, I would like to turn it over to Janice. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here. Um, like Paul mentioned, safety is our, our first uh, priority and has been no exception in this response. Um, this storm began, that began yesterday is one of the strongest that we've had in the system. We were clocking winds of about 100 miles per hour and about 15 inches of rain since the New Year storm started. Um, which create a, a very uh, critical situation for our response efforts. Um, and, and the interesting part about the storm is that we have a series of storms coming on the system. So as you know, we got hit in uh, New Year's with a, a severe storm. We got hit yesterday with a storm. We're expecting a storm on Saturday and another storm system in uh, Monday, which creates a, a window of opening for restoration, very limited for a cruise. Um, the, the, due to the weather, the California government has issued a state of emergency, and this storm has resulted in widespread power outages, mainly because of wind, flooding, a lot of trees falling in our, on our service territory, and unstable so soil conditions, um, just because the ground is extremely saturated. So a little bit about the outage information that we have. As of noon today, we have, we have had ro roughly about 440,000 customers out. And out of those 440,000 customers, we have already restored around 325,000 customers. And this is during the weather event. So it's an impressive effort to get about 73% of our customers restored at, as of right now. We have a, about 115,000 customers still out, and we're expecting to have another 40,000 restored by the end of tonight. Um, pg &E has been preparing for this effort for a long time. Uh, because we were a New Year's event, this EOC has never closed down. So we were coming off the New Year's storm, and we were prepping for this storm. This team has been on deck since New Year, and we will have another team on deck for the storm coming this weekend. Because of the many hazards that our crews are facing, we anticipate that those uh, customers that are still without power will take a little bit longer uh, to restore because we don't have access to many of the areas or we have um, really dangerous conditions for our crews. Our trees are falling around them. Uh, we have flooding and soil movement when they're trying to restore our service. So let me talk a little bit about how do we do the restoration process. We have a process that prioritize, priori, place, prioritize our customers based on the criticality of the equipment and, and the criticality of our customers. So if it's a hospital, emergency management service, fire station, um, then we go to outages that restore the most amount of customers. And that's why you've seen the, the big numbers of restoration that we've seen today. And from there, we got the device level, which we start picking more and more customers. So, when, when you see single home customers out, it's because that takes 
our crews to go and inspect every single outage. And so we're trying to bring as many customers up first and then go and assess all the damage. Our crews go out on the field and assess the damage to our, our um, infrastructure. And then they do this by uh, visual inspections by foot, ATV vehicles, or um, area patrols. But right now our helos are grounded because the weather is preventing us from bringing any aerial uh, equipment up in the air. And so it slows down our response time. But for our customers and our coworkers, it is really critical that we make sure it is safe with, before we turn the power back on. So let's talk a little bit about resources. Right now we have about 3,700 PG&E contract and mutual aid personnel that are dedicated to the storm response effort. That includes about 389 electric crews and about 361 troublemen, distribution line technicians, and system inspectors. We also have vegetation crews with our crews trying to mitigate the impact of tree falling around the crews and clearing trees from our uh, equipment. And we have many, many employees working at the EOC here, at the regional emergency centers, and at the division emergency centers. We also are lucky to have mutual aid assistance from eight utilities, including our sister utilities in California. We have uh, crews from Oregon, crews from New Mexico, Utah, Washington, Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. We also have set up temporary generation ahead of the storm to support customers impacted by the storm. We have a, about 600 megawatts of temporary generation that is currently supporting about 4,500 customers in our territory. Before the storm started, we also worked on keeping trees away from our power lines. We use our storm prediction models to help determine the timing and location and number of power outages. And we were pre-staging power poles, power lines, transformers, and other electric equipments at yards through our, our service territory. Finally, I wanna talk about how we're supporting our customers. Our customers can view real-time outage information at www.pgne.com backslash outage and search by your address, city or county. And this site has been updated to include support in 16 languages. Additionally, the, our customers can sign up for our website or outage not notifications by text, email, or phone. We will do our best to let our customers know when we're deploying crews, when the, they're expecting restoration time in, and when their power has been restored. We're also coordinated with our community-based partners to offer the support our communities need. So please uh, ensure that you call 211, our California network, so they can connect our customers to resources in the local communities. We also partner with the California Foundation for Independent Living Centers to offer support for older adults and people with disabilities throughout their disability disaster access and resource programs. With that, I want to end with a thank you to our customers for their patience and grace to us, for our state and local partners, because we've been working together to help our hometowns recover through this challenging weather event. With that, I'll pass it to Paul for any questions.